Well, the good news is that I fixed it. I just had to increase the buffering rate, so we should have no more issues with voice, music, or streaming. No more dropped frames. Happiness for everyone.
Can you see, this is one of those embarrassing moments where I thought a man was speaking to a woman, and in fact it was two women speaking to one another, or two subconsciousnesses speaking to one another, and now I have to come back and fix this. And just as I had suspected, this was a Pekawari speaking to a simulant, both female, one serpentine, one humanoid, and now I can start to put this together a little better.
we're going to push into at least one more chapter. Hope you're enjoying the stream. gonna stand up and stretch my legs for a minute and I'll be right back you can get a jump start on reading this page right here thanks for watching
This was a very powerful evening. And it's even stranger because here in my new room, there is a mirror directly in front of where my computer is. And I had to do everything within my power not to look into it. <laughs> mirror gazing is an incredibly powerful meditation. And the practice will bring you to a place of connecting with previous lives. Entities that could be part of your future. It just comes from gazing into this quartz. If you think about it, mirrors are just these crystallized forms that are really just moving very slowly, actually. It's in a very slow movement, just so slow that we can't recognize it. But it's this quartz-based product, a natural mirror, and staring into it can be extremely powerful and brings up a lot of emotions. And I would say to the women who have practiced this meditation that was in this today, just take it at your own pace, but understand that the process is designed in order for you to feel empowered and to make yourself the best possible version of you in the present moment that can exist. And that this offering is really a gift. And it's something that took many years for me to learn. I included this in the book in its original draft back in May of last year. And certainly I'm keeping it now on the book because it's meant for women to feel empowered. That's what it's designed for. I would want nothing more than women to feel as if they can overcome the things that may be difficult in the past that have been weighing on them like lead, pulling them to the bottom of the ocean of all of the possibilities that they used to see as achievable, that we've changed this now into a shimmering light, a gold stardust that has alleviated whatever attachments you may have had and brought you to a place where now you are free. And the men ask, well, what about us? <laughs> of course, you are free as well. Is the masculine element not att attached directly to the sun? The evidence is there every morning with sunrise. The moon requires a little deeper work. This is what we're talking about when we talk about the feminine aspect is the moon. The moon is mysterious. It's connected to the subconscious. It requires us to look at things differently in order to access it and to rewrite programs within. That's what this practice is. More so than anything else. This chapter is a practice. We come to the conclusion of this book tomorrow, likely in the morning. I am excited but sad at the same time to know that this book will be finished and I won't be able to touch it for a while, if ever again. But it also means when one door closes, another opens and it's time to move on to other great things such as Shift 108. Get that into the hands of all of you so that it can change your life profoundly. A system that's been in the making for over 20 years. It's finally going to be shared. Finally, I've convinced myself that I am of worth to share these things. That in order to teach something that will impact the lives of someone for the better, it just requires having the belief and the confidence that it will. And my practice of this specific meditation has already changed my life. And I imagine it will change yours. What's wonderful is that the specific custom malas that are made for this meditation arrived today from India. And I'm going to bless them at the Basilica of Guadalupe tomorrow after this book is finished and wrapped. And it's going to be a wonderful day. I already can see it unfolding. I see it as a beautiful moment for all of these mala beads to be blessed with holy water from the Basilica of Guadalupe where Diego, Juan Diego, had witnessed the Virgin and had witnessed a number of miracles, one of which still exists there at this site. It is a very powerful location. For those who believe or not, you go there and you feel it. I'm going to be, be able to have these malas blessed. I have a very small amount, a limited amount of them. 
then I'm going to get into the hands of people who are willing and wanting to change their lives for the better and to achieve success in the way that they imagine it. And these malas will bring you the protection that you need and the blessings that you need. It will be that extra buoyancy, that extra bit of support that's there for you so that your life changes for the better in a permanent state. Well, this has been a wonderful evening. We got a lot done. Like I said, I'm sad, but at the same time, I feel accomplished knowing that the book will be finished tomorrow. Only 2,500 words to go, so I'm going to take them slowly. (laughs) And then I'll be planning at some point between now and the launch of the book. Officially, the pre-order went up today. And it will be available to you on February 23rd. However, for those who would like an early copy of this in ebook format, it will be made available to you via patreon.com slash shift of mind. If you are a patron of my Patreon for only $6 a month, an initial purchase of $6 will get you access or grant you access early to the ebook format of Art and Sinners before it's released on Amazon.com. So you will be getting the media review version of this book so you can read it in its entirety before it comes out two weeks in advance. Pretty cool for six bucks. And so I, I hope you consider that. Supporting my Patreon also gives me the opportunity to be able to thrive here in Mexico, one of the many avenues that I am working with in order to sustain the life of comfort. What I mean by that is the ease of mind that comes from financial gain, which all of us deserve regardless of profession. And for writers, it's often a difficult thing to accept. I no longer have difficulty with it because I see if I do have difficulty with it in my mind, it is preventing me from reaching my goals. As a writer, as a father, and as a person who deserves love in my life. In any case, all of this is to say thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the stream with your presence. Have a wonderful evening. And please tune in tomorrow for the completion of this book. Be sure to leave a comment if you'd like to be a part of history. It's your last chance. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.